Okay. So, um, for installing Python libraries on Anaconda Spider or on Anaconda, there are pretty much a couple of things you have to consider. Um, which version of Python am I using, and how do I want it to be installed? Um, sometimes there, there are simple ways of just installing a library, which I'll show you in this part. But then also, in the second part, I'm going to show you how you can use um, environments, okay, virtual environments to install Python libraries, okay. And I will be explaining to you how important or how necessary it is. Actually, let me just do it now. I'm going to start by showing you um, the simplest way of installing um, Python library. So you just search for Anaconda prompt like this anaconda prompt okay and then you run it as administrator it's always the best way of of doing it okay so i'm going to run anaconda prompt as administrator so over here you can see that it's reading from the base okay if you are someone who has um um if you are someone who has other environments you probably see a different environment here but i'm reading from the base if you don't understand what this means just ignore it okay all right so to add install python libraries all you have to say is conda install then the name of the library so let's say we want to install a library called um, um, uh, matplotlib or pyproj let's install pyproj okay like this this one is used for coordinate conversions so I hit enter it's going to download and then install so you have to make sure you have good internet connection okay all right all right, so in this case, it's telling me that I already have this library installed, but that's basically how to install it. If you have never installed it before, that's how to install it. Conda install the name of the library. All right. The other way is just say pip install the name of the library. This time, let's install a library, say NumPy. I think I already have NumPy. Okay, let's just hit enter. All right, requirement already satisfied. So it means I already have it. I wanted to show you how it will look like. So let's try installing a library which is completely um, out of my 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 environment. So let's say conda install. Um, let's install Shapely. I know I don't have Shapely. Conda install Shapely. So we are going to wait. It's going to read, collect, and install. So you have to make sure you have good internet access. So over here, it's going to ask you, do you want to proceed? I'm going to install all these libraries for you. So it's going to tell you that in installing Shapely, you would have these libraries installed for you. So do you want to proceed? And you say, yeah. Or press Y, which means yes. And then you hit enter. And allow it to do its job. All right. So when you see done, done, done like this, it means it's actually done, especially when it moves to a new line for you to type. It means it's done. That's basically how to install. That's the simplest way of installing libraries on Anaconda. All right. So in the second phase, I want to show you how you can deal with environments. So I have my base here. In fact, let me close this and then restart it again. I'm going to start by opening Anaconda Navigator. Okay, this one, Navigator. And then also whilst it's opening, I'm going to also open Anaconda Prompt again. Anaconda Prompt. So I'll open Anaconda Prompt as an administrator again. And this time I want to illustrate a couple of things for you so that you um, you get it. All right, so, oh, so I have Anaconda Prompt open. For now, let me just minimize the Anaconda Prompt. If you come to Home for the Anaconda Navigator and you come to Environments, all right, you can see base here. This is the environment I was working with or I am currently working with. Now, why are environments or virtual environments necessary? Sometimes you want to work with um you want to work with uh, a certain you want to work on a certain project that requires certain libraries, but these libraries are not cannot be generally installed on any version of Python. For instance, if you want to install um, um TensorFlow no, uh, let's say uh, SK, SKLearn, okay? So if you want to install scikit-learn, scikit-learn at this time does not work on Python version um, 3.10, 3 uh, 3.10. It doesn't work on those versions. So what you have to do is you create a virtual environment. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do it both on the interface 
and on the command prompt so that for those who don't like command prompts you can just do it here so you have to create an environment and then you can install your libraries based on that version so i'm just going to say um create over here when i hit on create now over here you give it the environment name so let's say you want an environment for doing machine learning so i could just say machine okay then um or machine l okay then you choose the python version that is available now this python version is um for now it's only 3.8 because that's what i have if you have installed if you have gone to the internet and you've installed different python versions you're going to have them here all right so what you're going to do is you select the python version and then don't worry i'll show you how to install a different python version from the command prompt then you hit on create so when you hit on create it's going to try to install download and install a new environment so over here you can see that we have um a new environment called machine l okay so that's the new environment apart from this one apart from the base the base is what i've been using previously but currently i have machine l now if you want to install any library to this machine l you would have to change it from base to machine l all right and how do you do that you just say conda conda activate machine l like this and it changes from base to machine l so that you can now say conda install what shapely right like this conda install shapely and then it will download and ask you if you want to proceed because it's going to install all these libraries for you and you say yes and it will proceed to download and install and it's done i hope you see how it works all right so what i was going to show you early on was how to create an environment from the command prompt sometimes so you may you may want to create an environment that has a specific python version all right so you just say python create uh, conda create conda create dash dash then the name let me pull this one down a little then you say name then you give it the name of the of the library so let's say this time i want to call it machines okay machines like this then you can say python so you can say the python version you want so python equals to 3.6 because um, i already have 3.8 right so python 3.6 then hit enter now it's going to ask you i'm coming to download all this stuff for you including python uh, sqlite etc etc do you want to proceed and you say yes and you proceed it's going to start downloading and installing all right so now that it's done you can just say conda env list like this all right you are trying to find out how many bases you have now if you say env list you see that you have base machine l and machines which you have here you might as well see that it has been activated over here or it has been indicated over here so that's it. You, you can if you want now you can choose to activate it conda activate like we did early on conda activate machines and then you start um if you can't activate machines then you start installing libraries you want so pip install install whatever library you need okay i hope you get how how it works so pip install let maybe shapely again for this particular guy and i hit enter the whole process repeats itself so yeah virtual environments are very important so that it will prevent you your work from crashing okay so if you are done installing or if you are done saying conda install this or pip install this and you get an error well a couple of things you should think about okay if you get an error why it's not installing first of all it could be that you typed the name of the library wrongly so i could say pip install shapely instead of shapely like this i could just say shapely and then you see that it will give me an error it will attempt to download but it won't be able to download so it could say could not find a version that satisfies your require so it means that something is wrong 
and i'm saying that when you get to a point like this check to see if you've typed the name of the library correctly or even if the library exists if you want to know if the library exists go online search for pi pi okay or you can just search for uh, um, python libraries okay then you try to see if you can find the name of that library all right so if you can see that is there good you can sometimes if you open on it from pi pi if you open on it they will give you um, um a command to copy and paste on your clipboard all right so like this you can copy it and paste it on your clipboard all right however if that's not the case if the problem is not that you've misspelled it then it's likely you are using a, a python version which does not allow that library to be installed or that environment and um, that package to be installed so what you have to do is you create a virtual environment like i already showed you then you reinstall that that package okay hopefully that should solve it actually it's just these two things most of the cases it's just these two things that prevent libraries from being installed wrong name or wrong python version and for that i would like to say try and avoid downloading latest python versions okay most of the times latest python versions are not updated for certain packages so i remember one time i tried to install um was it sklearn yeah scikit-learn i tried to install scikit-learn for python 3.10 and it did not work i was confused but then later i had to re i realized okay scikit-learn had not activated was not uh, have, was not updated for python 3.10 so it's just some sometimes you just experience such cases so what i needed to do was i had to uh, downgrade my python version to 3.8 and then i installed all right so if you encounter issues like this just consider what i've just said and hopefully it will work now if you want to see how to install python from for your vs code all right so let's say you have vs code and you want to install python libraries for vs code i'm going to show you how to do that also